was saying that if we stay with the uh, policy we've made, it's going to really tie our hands um, in that no matter who applies for whatever reason with whatever felony, they would automatically not be eligible and we would not be able to make any um, decision other than no, no matter what the felony was or for what, how long ago it occurred or how well the person is doing now or anything. So I personally would be in favor of rescinding that. Originally it sounded like a good idea, but after thinking about it, I don't think it is. In some instances it may be, you know, it may be a useful tool. Um, and I think I made that clear that I wasn't comfortable with the format. I think that if something gets done, I think it should go the whole route through policy. Um, it should, it should be debated in committee, it should go through a first reading and a discussion, and then it should go through a final vote. Um, I say that, you know, not so much for this situation. I'm saying this for any situation where I, I just, I'm uncomfortable with practice. I guess what I'm saying. I mean, if this were to be brought back and discussed uh, for policy, there would be um, a lot more time to discuss it, a lot more time to to weigh the options, to to get community input. I, I just think when we do the whole route, we we'll get better decisions. And that um, I have been contacted by, I believe now I'm up to 12 community members um, that range from parents that have children in the district to individuals that have grandparents, their grandchildren in the district, um, some with adult children that are grown that uh, no longer in the district. Um, and out of the 12 people that I had contact with, 11 of those people were not in favor of us hiring anyone with any type of a felony conviction. Um, one of those individuals stated that um, they would like to see it on a case-by-case -case basis. The other 11 said absolutely not, no exceptions. The whole concept of penalizing someone with a felony for the second time is equivalent to double jeopardy for me. Um, anyone who's been convicted has had to serve, has had to pay their due to society in one way or another. And I think for us to substitute ourselves to um, what a judge might do, what society might do, um, I guess I have issues now that I've had more chance to think about it. And um, I really believe that the felony, although it is a serious um, mistake, needs to be assessed by the administration or and the board but to have this blanket um, denial of someone's right to serve students, particularly if the felony has had nothing to do with children, um, is problematic for me. So that's I've also had calls from people that said, I can't believe that this is a topic. We should set our standards higher than the bottom of the curve. I mean, that's the goal. So, yeah, I'm not sure how you answer the question. Do you guys really hire felons? I've yet to have an answer to that. The verbiage that was in the Department of Workforce it was looking at things on a case by case basis. Um, I don't know. You know, <clears throat> I guess. <clears throat> The only problem, you know, I, I can understand, I can appreciate your opinion on the case by case. Um, the only place I have a problem is, I don't really look, I'm uncomfortable making those judgments about people. You know, saying, you know, your past is better than this person's or better than that person's. It's a little difficult. 
Um, and I guess, I mean, that, that just for me, for me personally makes me a little uncomfortable where I, I, I don't want to sit in judgment of people. 